Ladies and gents, the banner for our Lucino has finally been revealed and we've got a lot to talk about. First things first, we're going to take a look at her banner, obviously, which is our Lucino, Remine, Lynette, and Xiangling. My first instinct as soon as I saw this banner is, wow, this banner looks very unique. It looks absolutely insane. I don't think I've seen a banner like this cool looking um, in a while. So that's that. And secondly, we've got Yangling from Nayland. I am not very fond of Fremenet. I don't think he's the greatest slit of all time. I don't think he's that good because he's physical damage. Sort of like Eula, but does a little less damage because four star. But I'm sure there's a place for him, okay? I'm sure there is. But personally, I don't think he is the greatest of all time. But what I do think is cool is that they have a lot of like House of the Hearth, uh, you know, people here, which is kind of cool. And we've also got Lynette. Lynette is definitely a character. <laughs> definitely a character. We're going to talk about her in a second. And then there's Xiangling. If you don't have Xiangling C6 already, that means you're a brand new player. And if you are a brand new player, don't worry, you'll have a lot of chances to get Xiangling. And if this is a banner that you really want to go for, go for it. But this is definitely a meh banner, I have to say. But let's just do a little bit of talk, okay? I want to talk about Lynette a little bit. Lynette is a pretty cool character, and I do plan on building her very, very soon. And for her to be of any use, she she needs an artifact set and what is the artifact set exactly it is going to be the verdes as simple as that if you have a verdescent set she's going to be an okay character for you to use other than that her actual elemental skill elemental burst isn't you know the greatest thing of all time mental skill does a little yelan dash type situation and then you kind of mark someone and then teleport to them and then do damage that's it and then for your burst you like a boggle box thing and then once it once it swirls with another element shoots that element with like five shots and then that's pretty much it that's pretty much what happened and yeah it's it's pretty okay it's not the greatest thing of all time um you can't do this multiple times in one elemental burst which is you know makes sense and it lasts for 12 seconds um this is this is how it looks i mean it looks pretty pretty sick right um that's one of the reasons i kind of want to you know do a little bit of upgrading on the net and i'm sure she can be really really good and so if i do get some constellations on my free to play account which she is at c0 in my free to play account um it's going to be pretty good if we look at the constellations here for the first one there's a like a little vortex that happens on your c1 which is pretty good because this makes her a little bit like Aza. and then you get an extra vivid shot on your second one um and they just get some skill there and then here's where it gets kind of okay you get another charge here and then with c6 you get animal damage bonus. what you really want is a c6 and a c4 that's what you're really trying to go for you're trying to get an extra charge trying to get more damage he is definitely high investment character if you want her to be really really good but low investment character if you just need the verdescent shred then you need a cool new character to have alongside not my favorite of all time and being claymore makes him a little bit you know clunky a little bit slow but he does a lot of physical damage that's why he is cryo obviously and it's just i don't think it's that great of a time playing with Fremini. okay i'm sorry but it's just a lot of physical damage and you don't really get much out of it and you do get a more Scatter damage, I'm pretty sure with this kit. So there's that. Uh C1 crit rate increase. That's pretty nice actually. That's that's one of the first times I've seen crit rate being increased by 15% on a C1. That is massive. Again, you get a little bit more energy on this. And then this will increase your attack a little bit. And your C6 will increase crit damage. Which makes sense. Yeah. So he could technically be kind of good, but I just ah. Uh, I don't know. For him right now, he has a lot of competition with other Claymore characters that are just, you know, miles ahead. And it's it's just, it, I don't think he has a place in the meta just just yet. I don't think maybe ever. <laughs> but for now, uh, yeah, he's not my favorite character. Uh, and then you have Xiangling. Do we need to talk about Xiangling? I don't think we do. Uh, I um, unless you need some more constellations perfectly fine at c0 she's really really strong you know one of the strongest in the game so yeah she's just she's just really really, really good <laughs> we have very very average this banner and then we've got in lenny's banner which is pretty much the same thing nice thing about you know lenny and or Lucino being together the weapon banner is absolutely giga nuclear insane 
so so good and with that we've got a brand new bow which is so strong and a new not brand new but like you know the old one a brand new pole arm which is so so good for our latino and then you've got lenny's bow lenny's bow is pretty much good for a lot of characters good for tartaglia good for yoimiya i'm pretty sure um i think it increases charge attack damage which you know is that's not what you want but the crit damage on this is just so good that i don't think it i don't think you want to miss out on it so definitely a good banner to go for a really good banner to go for both these weapons are going to be good they're going to be semi-universal, not much for the pole arm, but for the uh, bow, very much so. And then the four stars, not my favorite four stars of all time, but Dragon Bane can be good. Uh, obviously, obviously Favoni's bow. Uh, we don't talk about eye perception here, but uh, the other two. Other than that, this weapon banner is pretty, pretty good. Uh, I'm definitely going to try to summon on it, see if I can get one of these weapons. Either way, I'd be really happy because my Tartaglia would be eating good or my Yoimiya would be eating good. So definitely a, a chance to get something good out of here. And uh, I can't wait. I am going to be uh, leveling up my Lynette so I can put her on my Arlochino team. Even though she doesn't need to be on there, I just, just want, you know, house of the heart. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below what you think of these banners, whether you're going to be summoning on it or not. See you guys in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.